Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 13th of August, 2020. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Always remember, you guys, to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. All right. So let's see what energies and messages that we have coming through here for Thursday, the 13th. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Ooh, beautiful energy. I love it. Infinite supply. I'll read this in just a moment, you guys. Let me go ahead and get your cards shuffled and laid out, and we will dive in and see what we have going on here for Thursday, the 13th. Thank you, Spirit. All right. All right, we have the energy of letting go. And we have happy success. All right. Very nice. All right, Spirit. What do we need to know? Thursday, the 13th of August, 2020. What do we need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Thursday. All right, we are ready. We have the Two of Swords, the World, Five of Wands, the High Priestess, the Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and we have the Ace of Swords. All right. All right, so we have the number sequence here. One, two, and three. This is the number three, okay? We have the master number, 22, coming through here. And we also have the number 55, all right, you guys? I always tell you, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, all right? Let me move these down here. You guys can see them. There we go. All right. Okay, let's start here. This is really exciting. This is a beautiful energy right here. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows, okay? You know, if this doesn't tell you spirit and your guides and, and your angels and your ascended masters don't have your back, I don't know what else does. <laughs> you are definitely being divinely guided, you're being cared for, all right? Spirit, you know, I feel like for some of you, you've really been worrying, okay? You may be worrying about how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to make ends meet, putting food on the table. Maybe you're looking for a job, okay? I promise you it's going to work out. Because you're being looked out for. Okay? And I really feel like with this energy right here, letting go. You see this woman right here, and she's got these dogs on these leashes. <laughs> and, you know... I just feel like you're being pulled in many different directions. You know, you have, I feel like you have decisions and choices to make here. You see those doors, okay? 
and I feel like, you know, you're being pulled this way, that way. Somebody wants you to go do this. Uh, somebody else wants you to come here. Uh, but you need to be doing this. It, it's that type of energy, okay? And bless your heart, okay? Just like it says, you're going to have to let go, okay? And, and this may be, uh, you know, letting go of other people's expectations, okay? You know... And what I mean by that is it's going to be very important for you to do what's right and what's just for you, okay? you got to do what makes you happy, all right? What makes, you know, you know, I just, I feel like this right here, this is a youngster, okay? And when I say youngster, you're, you're fresh out of high school or, uh, you know, college and, you know, you've got people telling you you need to do this you need to do that and you know you know what you want to do okay but I feel like maybe your parents are you know telling you maybe it's that's not a good idea uh, you need to go do this and I'm just gonna tell you like it is you know you guys I always do all right and I know your family they you know if you are a youngster they're just they're they're wanting to make sure that you have your education, they're wanting to make sure that you get a career that is going to support you, that's going to take care of you, okay, and, and I feel like that they're really looking out for you, but at the same time, you know, if you have, you know, a decision to make, like what you're going to take in, you know, in school, okay, what are you going to go get a major in, all right, and I feel like it may be something completely opposite of what everybody else expects of you or wants you to do, and I'm going to tell you something, this is your life, this is your choice, okay, your parents will still be there, you are here to live your unique destiny, not your parents, okay, and for, for some of you, you know, this could be a wife or a husband, and you have kids and stuff and you're thinking about going back to school and you have you got people telling you you're crazy and they don't think you should do it why are you going to quit a good job that you already have that you have a degree in right and i'm going to tell you something you guys go after what you're passionate about no matter what your situation is right here okay you got to do what's right for you not for everybody else for you number one okay All right, so we have happy success coming up here. And this is so powerful. This is beautiful. Look. <laughs> you know, I feel some of you are going to be making a decision here. If it's not on Thursday, it could be on Friday. It could even be next week or the week after that, you guys. Uh, I see an opportunity here. Uh, you know, and you're going to make the decision. You're going to take it. And, you know, I feel like it's going to change your life in a big way. Okay. Um, I also see a marriage. Okay. You, you now it doesn't necessarily mean getting married. You could be moving in. Okay. You could be combining families. You could have kids. Your partner could have children. I see that coming in as well. Okay, I see a family coming together, and I see a lot of happiness, and I also see financial success right here. Now, you have the Two of Swords, okay, with the lovers, the energy of Gemini. The Two of Swords often represents, you know, being stuck at a crossroads, okay? You need to make a decision. You're stuck, and you don't know what direction to go in, okay? I feel like it's going to be very important that you check in with number one. You know, you've got the two of swords right here at the end, and then you've got the high priestess down here at the end. Spirit is saying all you got to do is check in. Check in with yourself, okay? Go with your gut. Listen to your intuition. And for some of you, you know, you may have people that, again, I'm getting people are telling you not to do, a, do something. Uh, you know, they may be arguing with you, or you, they may not agree with you. And you know what you want. Now, you guys, you got to take a stand for yourself. you got to take a stand for, for your mission, your, your destiny. 
you're just as special as everyone else. Okay? And I feel like this is an opportunity that's going to get you in alignment. Okay? With your life's mission. Because it's life changing. Alright? This is a huge decision. It is going to change your life in a powerful way. And it's all for the benefit of your situation. Okay? Most likely, you probably already know the answer. You're just biting your tongue. Or, you know, you don't want to make anybody mad or hurt someone's feelings. But Spirit says, as soon as you do, put your foot down. You speak it. You, you say what it is that you're doing. You make that decision and you stand firm in it. You're going to come out of that stagnation and that energy of and that feeling of being blocked, okay? And it's going to allow for you to be able to move forward. You know, the lovers here. This talks about balancing your energies, balancing your relationships, okay? And like I said a moment ago, I see a decision, you know, taking a relationship to the next level. I see family coming together, and I see it being good times, happiness. And like I said, for those of you that this message right here is for, you know, you've got a, you've got a huge decision to make, and I see you making it. You're going to accept whatever this is. And it's going to change your life for the betterment, okay, of your situation. It's going to make you happy. I feel like you're getting in alignment with what your heart's true desire is, all right? And yes, you may have people that aren't agreeing with you, but that's okay. It's okay to disagree. We don't have to agree on everything, right? So you have the world with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel many of you are, you know, ending a cycle you've been in, okay? That's where you're letting go and releasing maybe some baggage or maybe just, you know, that stale energy that you've had, that you've been carrying around in this cycle right here. Some of you have had difficulties, you've had challenges, you've had some toxic energies around you. And I see you, you know, saging. I see you cleaning your house, okay? I, I see you using crystals. You know, you're, you, you are preparing yourself. You're making sure that when you shut this door, you're not carrying any of that funk with you into this, you know, new beginning, okay? And you're releasing. You're letting go. And for some of you, this was a hard-won completion. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like you feel good about this, all right? Uh, you are so happy to close this chapter in your life and start a new one, all right? You are so ready, okay? And, you know, you're ready to leap into the unknown. You're ready to step into new experiences. And it's a powerful energy that I'm feeling right now, you guys. I love it. It's beautiful. It's, it's an energy of peace, okay? Some of you have had a lot of stress in this, in this cycle right here that you've been in, okay? So I see you working towards... You know, starting a new beginning, stress free, free, stress free, okay, as well as making sure your energies, okay, anything that had to do with the past is going to stay in that past, okay, you're going to shut that door, it's going to stay there, because you're going to start this exciting new beginning with a fresh start, clean, you know, just, I see you cleaning your house, okay, not just using sage, but cleaning. It's like you're doing a spring cleaning. You you know, you're cleaning out the closet. You are rearranging. You know, you're starting this new beginning. You know, literally, you're changing everything around in your house like it's going to be, you know, a, it's almost like a different place. You know, you're making it look completely different. You're definitely clearing out old energy, stagnation, you know, anything that reminds you of what you are shutting the door on, okay, in your past. Now, you have the Ten of Pentacles right here, and I love this energy. You know, this talks about family. This talks about good times. This talks about wealth, stability, security. This also talks about health. Some of you are definitely paying attention to what you are putting into your body and what you're feeding your soul. I see that you have, you know quit eating meat, okay, you've gone vegan, uh, you know, you are really aware, okay, of how important it is at this time to take care of your body, all right, as well as your soul. 
I feel many of you, you know, you understand how magical and powerful you are. You know that there is magic within everything that you can see. And when you know that and you believe it, that's when you can start creating, you know, your wealth, your stability, your security. That's when you can build something up that is going to last forever, okay? Now, I definitely feel some of you traditional family values mean a lot to you, and I feel like you are doing something different, okay? Uh, you are carving your own path here. You're making your own traditions that are going to be passed down, okay? And I feel like that means a lot to you. Now, I do feel like for some of you, this could be an, uh, an ending right here where you've been dealing with a lawsuit or anything legal, uh, divorce, um, money that's owed to you, inheritance, okay? A trust fund, a home, property, anything like that. It's at the end and you're finally receiving what's owed and due to you. Now, for some of you, definitely, this is you, you know, starting up a business and it there's a promise here for it to be very successful, okay? Very successful. And I'm also seeing maybe, you know, stepping into a new role or new position with a career possibly uh, that's going to allow for you to make a lot more money. Now we have the Five of Wands with the Five of Cups, okay? This Five of Wands, you know, I feel like you guys have had some setbacks. Um, you had a wrench thrown in your plan, caught you off guard. But, you know, I feel like you're not allowing it to keep you stuck, okay? Uh, because you definitely, you know, with the Five of Cups here, this, this talks about loss. This talks about disappointment, okay? Heartbreak. And, I mean, this is painful, okay? Whatever happened here. And it really has caused an inner battle and inner struggle here as well with the Five of Wands. But you're choosing to see the opportunities that are still available to you and that is powerful okay some of you have realized I had you had to do a divine detour okay and you're making sure this time you know you have a backup plan in case something pops up all right I do feel for some of you you lost your job okay and this is you getting you know seeing the opportunities here that there's other opportunities for career paths and jobs for you and they're being offered, and I see you accepting them. Now, I do feel for one or two of you, this could have been a divorce. I definitely get that heartbreak energy right here, and it's caused a lot of, you know, inner struggle and inner battles here. And it's going to be very important that you, you know, you feel those feelings, you, the good with the bad, you guys. You want to feel them all, and that's going to help you heal, and it takes takes a long time to heal sometimes you guys but as long as you're honoring those emotions and those feelings okay and you're letting it out I feel like you're not gonna stay stuck or you know stagnant in this energy it's very important that you know you don't stay in this energy for too long because if you do you can get depressed okay and you can also miss opportunities that are right in front of you all right Now we have the High Priestess with the Ace of Swords, and this is awesome. You know, this both of these are talking about clarity, okay? The High Priestess, something, a truth has been discovered, okay? Most definitely. And, you know, I feel like it's, whatever this truth has to do with, it's allowing for you to be able to move forward, okay? You're able to see a situation or a person from a different point of view, a different perspective, and it's almost like it's breaking you, uh, breaking you away from them. Okay, and it's like you don't feel bad now. Uh, definitely, you could have had somebody lying or deceiving you, wearing a false mask, and now their true colors have come to light. Okay, definitely getting that energy where something was hidden. It is. It has been shown to you. Okay, and I see you. You know, stepping into this Ace of Swords energy. And this is you clearing out. You're cleaning house. You're releasing. You're letting go. And you're cutting off anybody that is, or, you know, any situation or anyone that is not, you know, that doesn't have your best interest at heart. Let's put it that way. You're letting them go. 
because you're doing what's right and what's just for you at this time because you know that that is important and you have a successful okay new beginning right here and you know this success is coming from your creativity so this could definitely be the beginning of you starting your own business maybe it's a money-making idea or project some of you are writers some of you have a vision and you are going to bring that vision into your reality okay with the high priestess here there may be a need to keep something on the down low from certain people okay um, especially if you have to get something patented or copyrighted or maybe you just don't want somebody knowing something okay um, it could be that they would use it against you in some type of way all right but when you get the high priestess this talks about your third eye being open you know you guys are very sensitive you know intuitive there's that clairvoyance you know you are paying attention to your your inner guidance and this talks about how much wisdom and knowledge that you hold within you know that if you need you know an answer to something or you need to figure out which direction or which path to go in all you do is check in with your higher self check in with number one and that's where you're going to find those answers and you are aware of that and that's powerful you understand that life force energy you know that is flowing within you and you know and through you okay and this is what's allowing for you know the clarity for the truth to come through for things to be shown to you all right all right you guys a lot going on here <laughs> all right i love you i love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment you guys let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation and remember infinite supply you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows the universe has your back okay remember that all right I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.